Hey everyone, I'm Gloria from Kenya, a football content creator and freestyler. I have social media platforms named 14th Ghana that are made to promote women's sports, specifically women's football, and just propel the game forward, you know, like, I love women's sports, I love women's football, I, it's basically my life, and I just want to share my joy and my love with everyone else, because apart from running 14th Ghana, I'm an attacking midfielder on the pitch. I also play other sports like badminton, my rackets behind there a bit of basketball and football freestyling professionally which is interesting it's basically an artistic way of football where you get to do skill to the ball and it's often a solo sport but then it's really fun once you get the hang of it i do a bit of advocacy within sports and stem you know for women to encourage more women to get into those two fields because it's truly really life-changing and really builds your confidence speaking from my own experience and i have a odd curiosity to like learn more about outer space and languages plus tech Okay, so I'm going to nod out a bit, but then learning about Web3 in the blockchain space and fun engagement, combining the two with new technologies like augmented reality, virtual reality, spatial technology, it's just so interesting because, fun fact, 90, 99 or 98% of all football fans, male or female, have never stepped foot in like the favorite team stadium. Like me, I've never stepped foot in the Emirates, but I love Arsenal, yeah? Hopefully I will in the future. Though... There's such a big gap to fill within fan engagement that can be done with tech and with all these technologies that I mentioned earlier on. And it's very possible it's in development and I'm just learning so much more so that I can be part of that change. I really love this question because I have no idea who got me into this sport. Soccer, football. If I say football, just now I mean soccer. And it's because the people who would typically get me into the sport, my dad or my brother, they don't like it. They can go a whole year without watching the sport and they wouldn't care. And my mom and my sister love it more than them. And... I'm the one who dragged my whole family into it. Let, let, let's just start from there. So I have no idea. Maybe my cousins growing up, but I clearly can't pinpoint somebody. But with freestyling, it's because during COVID, a lot of games stopped, like football games, soccer games. So I just like trained more on my own. I still train on my own. And bit by bit, I got to, do, to learn skills and found the world of freestyling through PWG, a famous freestyler who's from the Philippines and Sweden. Yeah. I also love this question. Who's my biggest inspiration? In the context of football, soccer, is Martha. Martha is the reason I still play football till now. Like, I'm still planning for the 2027 World Cup to be there and meet Martha. I don't care whether I'm a player. I don't care if I'm a content creator. I don't care if I'm an organizer. I have to be in Brazil in 2027 just to find Martha. I'm even learning Portuguese right now so I can communicate to her. I know she speaks English, but then I want to speak in her language. So that we have like that connection, you know. But yeah, she's my biggest inspiration. She's the reason I still play football. I love her dearly and I can't wait to meet her because I know it's going to happen. With mentors, I'm still looking for a mentor. I know that people who have helped me throughout my year life, but then formally I don't have a mentor. So if you want to mentor me, feel free. Okay, I only have three things to say. First one, dream big. That's one thing I learned from Leah Williamson that I live by and I stick with. Always dream of the best reality you can think of then double that, triple that. Expand your imagination, challenge your imagination, make yourself be scared by your dreams, you know. Dream as big as you can. Second thing, keep moving, keep improving, keep learning, just stay in motion because anything stagnant is dead. It's basically dead. So as long as you stay in motion, no matter the situation, you're bound to end up in a better place. Third thing, um, always believe in yourself. Be as delusional as you'd like. I am very famously known for saying delulu is the solulu, and it's true, just be delusional and eventually things will work out. Sadly, this is the end of my short but hopefully sweet takeover. I really hope that you guys enjoy this. Thank you so much, Etre Girls, Eliana Rea, Maria, and the whole team. Plus, you guys watching for this amazing opportunity. Something great added to my list of activities during my gap year. If you want to reach out to me, feel free to find Portinkana and just text me. I always reply to all messages. And yeah, looking forward to working with Etre Girls in the future in any way possible and helping anyone who's, who wants help from me. Plus, once again, if somebody wants to mentor me, Feel free. I'm looking for a mentor. Yeah. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.